14 July 1988, we are in Illinois.
Governor, you'd be right here for just a second. You'd wait right here with Get Secretary Ling over here for a second. Get him out of guest one. There he is right there. Take him in with the governor. No, oh, not near the post. Yeah, that's where he's showing the court. Uh, Get away from the post. Fuck the post. Fuck the post. Get away from the pool. Weather me. The post? Yeah. yeah. That's where the corn's supposed to be. There's well, it still kills the picture. Where, right where the red and white is? Yeah. Yeah, well, we can tell by him standing there. When we can see him, we know that. You I mean, can see it, a grown man standing up here. It just doesn't cut it, I mean. What do you want to do? It's got to be away from the post. We know it's short when he can be seen over it. The right or left or both? Maybe it's the south right. driving a track. You're right. Yes. Nancy is absorbing all of this at the eyes and ears of her colleagues. Right. 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 Tremendous responsibility. I know they're going to want to know. Every move. That's it. Take the corn husk and get a shot, Mr. President. Thank you, Jim. You got a lot to learn there, my man. Put the mic down, please. Put the mic down, please. Thank you. I want to go to
creates the ears of corn. But this is coming out, the tassel. No silk yet. And thus these could look green as they do now and no ears of corn on any of them. The red ribbons, I'm sure you know, that is where it should normally be at this time. The corn and here the soybeans. And you can see the difference in where it is and what it should be. Well, have you seen a drought like this before, Mr. Mr. President? Have you personally seen a drought like this before? Yep, I'm old enough. No, I mean of this extent and this uh, severity. Well, there was the great famous dust bowl in the in the uh, 1936. Does this compare to that? I have a hunch that this is more widespread. I, yes. I, I, yes. Yes. Than, than that one was. That came well, from further to the west. Yeah. This, this but I, I remember that. Yeah. I told them about. I was broadcasting the Chicago do, Cubs game. And in the fifth inning of that game, it had to be called because of the dust storm. Couldn't see the players or the fans. They had to call with Taylor. Mr. President, are you concerned about all the amendments that are being tacked on to the emergency relief bill? The only thing I'd like to correct, I hope, is that they're not being tacked on. I know they're trying to tack them on, and I hope that they're not not getting away with it. Well, what, well how what are you going to do that? How are you going to gonna approach that? What? How are you going to approach that? You're going to strong arm these senators you got with you here? Well, <laughs> there are a lot of people. That it certainly our our effort on this is really bipartisan. You've got a hundred people waiting for you. Yes, but you're you're afraid it's going to be a Christmas tree when it well, comes out. I don't know. That's always a possibility. But at the same time, I believe that we've got partisanship working. Mr. Bipartisan President, could the drought become a political issue in the fall? Or there's some talk that the Democrats might try to seize on this this summer and this fall. Are you concerned about that? I think they'd have a little difficulty. They blame me for everything else, but I'm I think sorry. they'd have a little difficulty for saying that I did anything about keeping it green. <laughs> We have a long walk back. 